it was summary, so I it, it was nothing that I had to check in. It was just they had trouble. So it, it was I, I know what time was just gonna go away. So you don't remember that your probation is until two thousand twenty? No, not until 2020. Have you been to Colorado? Years ago, things like that. Mm -hmm. Did you have any trouble with the law enforcement in Colorado? Yeah, I think I have like, it's a, I don't know, when I, I have to go get some tickets though. Because I got pulled over for, I actually got pulled over three, four weeks ago. And yeah, it's a, a non extrayable warrant, so I know it's a misdemeanor, and I know it's a ticket. I know what it's for. Sure. Uh, do you know anything about dangerous drugs? Warrant? I don't do drugs. The warrant is not about dangerous drugs? All uh, they told me was it's not extraible and this was saying I've gotten pulled over quite a couple of times over this. Uh, not over the warrant but for mis like minor traffic infractions and Close that other door for them. Bye, Merry Christmas. Do you have any weapons on you, anything no. like that? No guns? No. Okay. Can I, can I have a jacket? Well, it's, we have the heater on. Oh, yeah, so that's why I wanted you to hang out in here, okay? Can you just do me a favor? Can you just empty your pockets for me? Okay. Do you have ID or anything like that in here? Okay. Okay. Kyo is your last name? Yeah. Joe. Nazar Tun? Kyo? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and have a seat here. Can you just open this up? I just want to make sure you don't have any weapons. Go ahead. Turn around for me. Okay. All right. Uh, and then just here in the pockets. Let me just do that phone. Okay. This one here. Okay. Go ahead, have a seat. We'll be right with you, okay? Yes. It's cold I'm out here. Back. It's he's running around, yes. and I want to make sure that the scene's okay here, okay? Yes. All right. Can you fit in there? You can put him on your lap. If you there. You go. All right. Well, hello. Hey, you're working. I don't want to interrupt. I know. I'm <laughs> this thing's on, too. Uh, yeah. This, your neighbor's been getting harassed by this crazy guy. Across from us? This guy right here. Really? Has been getting harassed by this other guy. In the same complex? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. He doesn't live here. Oh, he doesn't? No, no, no. Oh, I was like, oh yeah. my God, are you kidding me? They're in the same complex. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, good to know. Yeah. So, Be careful. Absolutely. You see people creeping around, make sure you call us. Okay. <laughs> we, we know how to handle them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you too. I'll see you. Huh? He's going to jail. Why? Because he vandalized the truck, he vandalized the camera. The video camera? He's still first. He's still first. Oh, stop. Doesn't matter. We don't have proof of that. Yeah, we, all, we already to Daily City and off, police office and. Uh, yeah, but that's Daily City. This is Penol. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. You can't vandalize people's stuff. He should have taken him to court.
shit. He's pissed for the reason he's pissed is because this guy says he has his laptop. But the reason he has it is because he was doing some work on it for the guy, and there's fucking child porn on it. I don't care about that. There's child porn on it, is what he says. Uh, so he came here one day, spray paints the camera. There's a little spray paint. And cuts the... Then today he comes here. Oh, by the way, he spray paints the camera. Then that happens. Then Keister gets a call for an alarm. The guy calls and says, hey, there's somebody in my house. Keister, and he goes, I need you going to check it. They refuse to check it, is what he says. Well, yeah, he wasn't here, and he proved it to me because he showed me where his Wi-Fi was unplugged for 15 minutes and then plugged back in, and there's messages from this fucker saying, hey, I was in your house. I can't find my computer. Where's it at? The only thing I found was my rifle in the trunk and my in the trunk and my ammo, meaning like, hey, I'm going to fucking whack you. And now look. Fucking rifle in the trunk. What was that, a 30 6 No, it's a 30 30 carbine. And he's got a, a makeshift silencer. So if that's a felony, you need to look up that section. I called you over to do this part, and right. I'll do the initial part. Okay. About the vandalism. Yeah, I, take him out, because I don't want the car to roll away. Yeah. The car started moving, so I don't know how to turn these things up. There might be a 22 and a shotgun somewhere around here. Alright. So I need to call tactics real quick. I'll start taking pics. Um, we haven't touched anything, right? Uh, no, but I do want to <laughs> seize this camera. Um, I thought we were going to seize a car. Oh. They live <laughs> in Daly City. I don't know how they Yeah, but here. this is a. Yeah. Right. I don't, know, call them. I, don't want the, I don't want them talking to them either. Yeah. So. If you control that while I get my. I didn't do a good check of it, no. But I did take it out. It was on the floorboard of the passenger side. Um, yeah, he's going to jail. And he has a rifle in the trunk with a makeshift silencer on the back. He's ready to whack your ass, man. I mean, I shouldn't say that my camera's on, but... Hell yeah, it's illegal. You can't have a silencer in California. Well, look, the, the day he came here, you could clearly see his face before he vandalized it. Yeah. And he spray painted it. I don't know if that works. No, I'm taking him anyway for cutting that thing. Oh, yeah. I don't know, but I'm saying, vandalism, you know how you said, um, uh, the DA, whatever, but you can. Clearly see his face when he walks through here. Like yeah. Oh, no, no, I know, but then, but then when does the uh, stuff appear after the, as soon as my neighbor fixes the camera, it's on there, it's on, is that all on that video, I, yeah, you want to see it, no, 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 I believe you, I'll look at it in a minute, oh, okay. we're going to be here for a minute, and then the message is, no, I'm there. charging him with the criminal threats also, especially because he has a gun, mm -hmm. and I can't find the ammo though, I don't know where it's at, because there's a person who was out knocking on this victim's door uh, we arrived and the the caller said she didn't know who he was we get here and uh, come to find out this guy's here from Daly City saying that the person in the apartment owes him $70,000. So I start talking to the gentleman in the apartment who's on probation out of Los Angeles. Just, that's just a side note. Side note. Uh, uh, he tells me, look, here's the deal. I have this guy's computer because he wanted me to fix it for him. Um, they're associates through business. I guess they buy and sell broken computers. They buy them and then fix them and then resell them. He goes, so I had this computer from Mr. Khan. That's the guy who was knocking on the door. Um, he, when I opened it up, I found child pornography on it. And now he's trying like crazy to get it back. And he spray painted my cameras, uh, his security cameras. 
He spray painted my car, sliced my tires, and put sugar in my gas tank. Um, is that the magazine? Nice. Hold, photograph it in place. Sorry about that, Chief. So, the guy, the guy is telling me all this, and he shows me all these messages about how, hey, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, you better have my money, and and I'm coming to get you. And then he started putting Craigslist ads asking for people to kill this guy. And of course, they've all been flagged and removed, but he did print one of them for me. And um, so I. I go, okay, okay, I, and I, he goes, in fact, today, right before you got here, he cut my camera um, wire again. So I go, well, show me that, and he shows it to me. So I go, I tell Rude, I go, let's just go 1015 with this guy, I'll have him sign a CA for vandalism. And he goes, because it's on the camera, <laughs> him cutting the wire. It shows him walk up to the camera, but he has to sign a, he has to sign a citizen's arrest anyway, so it would be, um, on him but no he is on camera walking up to the camera he's even on yeah there's another video of him actually spray painting the lens too but anyway right and so um his wife i was going to tow the car and i'm doing my inventory because his wife doesn't speak english um and i'm trying to find her a ride out of here uh and there's a loaded rifle with a silencer in the back of it so um is that the magazine nice hold photo and I can't find the ammo though. I don't know where it's at. So I, in conjunction with the messages, the saying he's gonna kill him, I think I obviously can go 422 also and I'm gonna charge him with the felony silencer. But what I wanted to call tactics for was to make him aware that I'm seizing this laptop that he claims has this child porn on it. And that, and that I wanted to let him know that it's going to be in evidence and we need to get a search warrant for it based on, hopefully, based on what the victim of the 422 is telling me. I was just thinking if the guy says he saw it and then, that's what he says happened was he... Right, exactly. That's no, no, I just wanted to clarify with him and let him know that that was where I planned on going with it. And I, and that was it. Okay, cool. So I can, I'll give him a call then and give him a heads up. Oh, all right. Well, I'm. What's that? I don't know. I said, this is the day we finally finished paying this piece of shit off. Like, oh, yeah. And he said, and <laughs> When did you start working with him off and on? See, I know him since May, but recently, maybe two, three months ago. Oh, okay. Three months ago, we started, like, I really started taking a computer. Like, recently. Yeah. How did you end up with that laptop? Okay, so, Thanksgiving? Um, the, the night before Thanksgiving, which was, was a Wednesday, mm -hmm. um, I went to over. I went to his house, and I and I needed some computers. Cause I was going to LA. Oh so, yeah. So the plan, and I needed a hard drive. Oh, you did mention that in there. Yeah. So he said you can borrow this hard drive so, or something. So he gave me. I needed. He, he's like, here, take these. But he gave me his personal hard drive. I accidentally gave him his personal hard drive. So um, I got home. I didn't really check anything because my wife. I had to go pick her up from work because we were going to take off uh -huh. to LA for Thanksgiving. So I got home, I was in a rush, I didn't do nothing. And he kept calling me and texting me, hey, um, I think I gave you my personal hard drive. I have some personal files in there that I need, my, my bank statements, my credit reports. Do you still have those text messages? I think so. If you do, I really could so use those. So then I was like, I was like um, shit, I had already left. I was like, oh, I, I, I'm not home right now. I'm, I'm already heading to LA. He's like, ah, oh, is there, can somebody give it to me? Can somebody come to your house? Yeah. Like, he was but yeah. I had it with me. I was like, what the hell does he want? Yeah. And. Oh, and that's when he came in your apartment. No, the day he came in my apartment was on the 
15. We'll, we'll finish the first part. Sorry, oh, okay. I didn't mean to disrupt okay. you. So then, so then there you go. Here, we got here, we got back, and he was bugging me the whole weekend. Like, when, where are you, where are you? I need my, my hard drive. Right? So I, have, I put the hard drive in the computer, and that computer, he sold it to me. That computer, mm -hmm. the computer itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got gotcha. you. He sold me the computer, but I needed a hard drive for it. Uh. I wouldn't need to open a computer that's already repaired. No. Um, he tells me, look, here's the deal. I have this guy's computer because he wanted me to fix it for him. Uh -huh. And I needed a hard drive for my computer that I had at that time. So, I, um, you know, I guess he found it now that we're not friends since he, he sold it to me for like 350 bucks. Okay. The computer is worth about 800 bucks uh -huh. on the street, you know. So, he sells them for around 800 bucks. So, now since we're not friends, I stole him with the computer. Right. So, where does he come up with the $70,000 from? With the iPhones. But you guys paid that much? No, we only paid like, a, we gave the guy, I put... Like eight thousand dollars out of my pocket. Uh huh. And he put like ten. The profit was gonna be eight seventy thousand dollars. Ah, okay. That was a profit. Because so really, you guys, Alex kind of screwed you guys. Yeah, he fucked because of what I told him. I found. Yeah. So that's when Alex kind of just said... Oh, Are you going to be able to get your money back eventually? Uh, I have receipts from the store, but um, since he, I don't... He's a manager, right? Mm -hmm. he, so you know the phones you return? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, so he's them. not really supposed to be selling them. Yeah. I got you. Okay. So, I mean, either way, I mean, before this... The other deals were perfect. We were buying them, selling yeah. them to his buyer. His buyer was paying us. We were making around a pretty good profit. Uh -huh. We were getting like 80 iPhones in the, this last deal. And um, what happened was I told him this, and I like I was shady because of that too. Because uh. he thought I was involved somehow. Oh, no. Like, uh, yeah, like, oh, so he, he just said, get, just get, like, get the hell out of here. With you guys anymore yeah. Because he didn't want to get in trouble for it. I'm like, yeah. Because I'm not, you know, I wouldn't be telling you something like this if um, I liked it, you know what? Yeah. I tell you, I have kids, you have kids. And now he just, he, he changed his number, which is, I don't know. Wow. Well. Oh. But the problem is, he handed me his money, and I took the money to Alex on this last deal. So that's why I'm in the middle with his money. I got you. If he would have given it to him, it would have been totally different. Yeah, money. yeah, yeah. But... All right, so you're in LA with the computer. Computer, mm -hmm. you're like, why, why does he want this so bad? Do you come back? And what point does it tie into him breaking into the house? Like tie this, those okay. two parts together Time for me. The... So that was right before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're away. Mm -hmm. When do you come back from that? We come back. I told you I had a catheter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was. I couldn't drive for about a week. I okay. Had the doctors don't, I had to stay wait until in LA. Yeah. Okay. So so then that went and um we we came back on that computer? Yes. No. I never had a need to open one. A retina. The older ones, yes. The unibody ones. We came back on a week. What was it? Like a week later, exactly a week later on Sunday because my wife worked. Mm -hmm. We got back here. As soon as I started going to the computer, um, I saw what I saw, but then the computer locked down and it just restarted. So you You thought, hey, this is weird that he wants it back. You start going I through wanted, it. I want to know what the hell he wanted. Yeah, and then the. So did, what did you. Do you. Can you describe what you saw? Okay, I saw him. And I saw a little booty, like a little... Like a kid's? Yeah, it's not... I know girls' butts. It, that was not a woman's butt. Okay. So then I, I started going, you see his penis. Um, and then I didn't even I didn't even get more than two minutes because it's just... Now, it was hooked up to the Wi-Fi. It was hooked up to my Wi-Fi. And you're saying the computer... Crashed. 
Okay. And it, it, it restarted like a brand new computer. How it and is because of your knowledge with computers, you think that if we have the ability to pull that, you, we should be able you, to find you it. You can find something there. I don't do nothing major. Like, I never, I, I, I have knowledge of the computer. Yeah, I use the computers. I have knowledge of computers. I know what a computer is capable of, but not uh, to an extent where I can, not, not to your extent, because there's fatter ones, there's all kinds of sizes of a hard drive. And I, I, I'm familiar with them. There's the phones here, this fat, they go on a computer. MacBook Pros, from my understanding, they use a, uh, that's, that, that has a needle, the other ones don't have a needle, what's it called? It's an SSD. But this fat, it's like, a, it's like, it's like a RAM. It's like this fat. Some, I know you can, I know on the, on the retina, um, everything is built in. It's a flat, I think it's called flash storage. I think that's the name that I'm looking for. You've had some normal say, you would give me hard drives. Some like that, some a little bit fatter. Those are just regular hard drives with, that make little noise. Some come in little, uh, like flash sticks, this very thin, very long. Um, some are, some plug in like that. Some just plug in the two little pins. I know, I know, I know what you're talking about. So, so you said three, and now you said remember. this. I don't remember how many I said. Do you ever see the child's face or hair or anything like that? She was wearing, she had a little, like a pink sweater. Okay. Um, and I, you could, you just see. Like yeah, her side of her face? You can't see very much, but it's not a woman. Did you see any penetration in there? His penis. I'm, I, I gotta ask, be specific, you know. <coughs> so it's inside of her, <coughs> and she's not, obviously not grown. No, it's not. I got a grown. Yeah. <coughs> So I'm going to be 22 years old. I know girls' asses. I know Would them. you say she was 10 or younger? Yeah, she was probably around 10. She was probably like my other son. I have a five-year-old son. Uh -huh. She looked small. Yeah. Like, I know kids. She looked really small. Did she, um, was she white? In case we can't have trouble pulling it up, was, or we need to track her down another way, was mm -hmm. she white, black, Hispanic? She was, she was, um, like my nice. Like olive complex. But her booty was white. Oh, yeah. All right. And the, that's when everything went south with him. With yeah. Him because he really wanted it, and he wasn't getting it. And when he, when I don't know somehow, he didn't even know where I lived, dude. Mm -hmm. Like he doesn't. He, he, he found I, you. Well, because he hacks here. all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So <laughs> the day, the day that he broke into my house. What day was that? On do you the remember? Fifteenth. The fifteenth of December. Mm -hmm. He breaks in through yeah. a window. Um, through the back because the friend has motion. And the, that room, my son's room, didn't have any motion mm -hmm. or nothing. So, so the only proof we had that he broke in, or circumstantial anyway, is the fact that he says in the. T text message, hey, I searched around, I can't yeah. find this thing. And, and the, the fact that he was here um, that day. Oh, so that part you have on camera. Yeah, where he. Yeah. I think he broke into the back because you could you have access right. to the back too. And is that the same day he spray painted that thing? Yeah, that day. Oh, and that's on that DVD, right? Yeah. I okay. Think it was the day that he came I know. I believe. I'm just trying to. Put it's it a lot of information, man. Right. No, I remember him. Yeah, I, and I see him, and then he spray paints it. Yeah. Next thing in the morning, uh huh. Yeah. Four days later, he comes back, and he parks over there. Right. I mean, he parks right there, and he walks through there, and he spray paints the camera again. Right. And then today, so you can see where the spray paint was that your neighbor wiped off for you. And then today, this is what he cut. Yeah. Right now, that he got here. Okay. That first day that I, that you guys came out to my house, yeah, that's the day he broke in because miraculously my internet connection was disconnected for 30 minutes, roughly 20 minutes. It's right there, uh -huh. my hub, and it's never ever done that. But that day, the time that same day that he spray paints that, your Wi-Fi goes off, turns and, off. Yes, 
my, my security hook. And you showed me that on the screen, which can you leave me the, can you make sure when you put this together for me on a mm -hmm. USB, you also put a screenshot of that on there? I, I, I Oh, okay, great. But miraculously, they changed my system yesterday. They put some better components. Oh, okay. But mysteriously, somehow, with God's will. Oh, man. The data heat, spray printed that camera. Yeah. And I'm, because we hadn't been here for like two weeks. Where were you guys? We were we were in LA. But this was not the same trip as the Thanksgiving trip. No, we came back from that trip, but I would, he was pressuring. Pressuring me. So I just told him, you know, let's go. We just went to LA and we had a wedding. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you. So you can see why it makes sense that that's the day he broke in. Uh huh. Well, you have it on camera. Yeah. <laughs> And that's just that. The time, the time of the camera, um, the time of the internet losing connection. Because if that if the internet was off, that motion right there was not gonna work. Oh, okay. So and then he's running around in yeah, here because yeah. it's off. We got home yes, yesterday. Uh, was yesterday. Um, two days ago, and there was clothes all over the floor. There was clothes in the room, on the floor. Like it was ransacked. Like it was searched. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? That's the day you guys came to my house. Remember I told you guys came to look for me? Oh. So I was like, I thought that. Who's that? Oh, that's Zach Bloom. That's Officer Bloom. Or yeah, you guys left the paper for me to contact Daily City PD. I thought there was a warrant. Who's? That's oh, he's talking. working today. Yeah. The, the, they came, you guys came here to leave a paper only. Oh, okay. That's, that's nothing serious. That's, I thought I had a warrant. That's, I thought I had a warrant. That's, I thought I had a warrant. I thought I had a warrant. So I contacted the number you guys left. Okay, this was... This is how my trick is usually. That, that's how it's supposed to be up. Right, I see that. And then watch. And this is also the 15th, yeah? No, 12, 15, yeah. Oh, there he goes around the back, right? I, I download probably the same ones that are in his trunk. Boom. Yeah, you spray paints it. Gone. No, I have no feet that whole day. Okay. And then he goes the next one. It's the same one again. And the same one. How did your neighbor know it got spray painted? Um, I told, I called him. Oh, actually, the day you guys came, I told Keister if he can give my neighbor my number to call me, and I asked my neighbor. If he For me. Oh, okay. Because Keister said. Oh, and there's the damage. Or, yeah, well, so one not, spray paint. Yeah, this was the first day, okay? Okay. So there's no. Remember, there's and no. That's the 20th? Look, and this is yeah. the second day he came. Okay. This was on the 20th. This yeah. is just the other you day. See, you see his Prius? Yeah, yeah, there's his Prius right there. Sure. The first time he parked over there, his Prius began okay. the Jeep. Look, this is his Prius, and then, like, boom, spray painted again. He's wearing the he's same hat. Yeah, he's, he's wearing the same hat he's wearing right now. <laughs> oh, spray painted again. Oh okay. God, no more, no more new, no more feed until. Okay, that's you guys came and you guys lit it up and told me oh, the camera was vandalized, whatever. And then these are the ones of today when he showed up to my house. Yeah, that one I saw when he comes yeah. up and cuts the wire, and there he is with his Prius again. Yeah, man, the Prius. The first video, his Prius is parked over here. You can see the Prius with yeah. the video. Yeah, well, you see him pull in. Uh, here's him pulling in, and he's banging on my door. Like, his face is right there, clear as day. Yeah. No, I know it's him. I don't I don't disagree with you, man. That's why he's in handcuffs. But I do need you to sign a citizen's arrest form yes. for the vandalism. The rest of the stuff will be a work in progress, all right? I'm going to take all this. What about the truck? Oh, I mean, the next I'm going to charge him with the truck. I'm gonna charge him with everything on the truck. This is for t from today. Okay, this is 1224 today. Yeah. Now the stuff with the truck is on this one. Yes, those two. Okay.
Okay, gotcha. Then, um, I'm gonna charge him with felony vandalism. I just still oh, want here. Oh, here, there it is. <laughs> Coincidentally, he got. I I have the times exact times there. I have them right here. It's just such a coincidence. And yeah. you have the time or the date somewhere? Yeah. It, here, right? It says two. It's, this is the thing. That day. Mm -hmm. That um. I raised it at 12, December 12th. I wrote it down. But no, hold on. Let me just pull it off from the computer right here. Okay. Don't tell me exactly the time. Let me see the time. Come on. Let me try, let me try. Hold on. Let me see the time. It's on 15. Oh, shoot. I think they erased because they changed my system. Oh. But they're down. <laughs> that's fine. I believe but it. That's That's the time that, that's mm -hmm. the day that he, you'll see here, his it was working. The time, the exact same time. It's just everything matches with when he spray painted it. And after he spray painted it, this This happened. goes off. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's on the video. The time's on the video, right? Yeah. All right, so we're good. I, you're acting like I don't believe you, man. You're, you're acting like I don't believe you, man. You're acting like I don't believe you, man. You're acting like I don't believe you, man. This is my card. It's the same case number for now, okay? okay. Um, I'm going to take this stuff. I'm going to get a property receipt for you and leave you a receipt for this. Okay. All right? You're going to be here for a while, huh? Yeah, we're going to be here for a few. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to shut the door, okay? Huh? Oh, okay. All right. So, hey. Yeah, yeah. No, they're still in it. Still inside? Yeah, they're still inside, but that, here, let, maybe they're loose. Yeah, they're loose. Uh huh. Oh, good. So you could tighten them back up and put, and put air. He spray painted my car, sliced my tires, and put sugar in my gas. I think they're cracked already because they've been sitting too long. Ah, you'll be fine. So. What's up, man? Say it again? Yeah. I think there's more than 10 rounds. Where'd you get that? That was in the glove box. We'll count them. I don't think that's a 10 rounder. Mm -hmm. Oh, it might be 15. I think it might be 20. But it's not illegal to possess yet. It's illegal to buy uh, and illegal to provide, but it's not illegal to possess. But I'm, we're taking that rifle because it has a makeshift silencer. I'm right. going to charge him with that. So I was trying to figure out a way to hand this off to you, but I'm pretty, I'm too deep in it. <laughs> well, I was like, <laughs> Take him, take him in there so long. And oh, yeah. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I know you didn't. So he's like, well, that's common. Shit, I don't know, dude. I'm glad you didn't let him go. <laughs> I don't think he was trying to leave yet, though. Nah. There's a guy. Did you search his race band real well? Because he supposedly has a 22 with him. Uh, Not to, He didn't see it today, but he knows he I has one. I searched him like I went all up in his junk. I'll all check right. him. I'm, I'm going to redo it. Yeah, because he said he likes to carry it right right here. Okay. And, um,. Yeah, he, we're, we're going to charge him with the felony silencer section, but the vandalism, well, that's a valid vandalism also. So I wanted you to photo that in place yeah. and then collect it for me. Yeah. Um, tie this. Actually, uh, you don't have to collect it for me. Just put it in my truck because you're going to have to transport. All right, so you're done. He can go. Okay. Or she can go. Yeah. Okay. All right, you can go. Where is his phone? We're taking his phone. Because there could be evidence on there. Phone number. We have a lot of phone number in. Okay. Well, you can get it back when the case is over. He didn't upload his phone numbers to the cloud. Evidence. A lot of evidence in the phone. There could be. That phone number. And I need. He doesn't upload his phone numbers to the cloud? Like he doesn't upload the phone number? Yeah, I, I don't have phone number, some of the, his friend's phone number. Okay. So I, I, I don't know. 
I don't know what to tell you. What? What is he charging? Oh, we'll tell you your charges in a minute. I'm still looking them up. No, I mean, like, you better tell me before you arrest me. No, actually, I don't have to tell you before I arrest you. I'll tell you. Roll up the window. We're done talking. You know, I don't care. You don't have to subpoena. I can log in and print out my call logs at this point. Yeah, I just have no idea how he's able to do that. And uh, and one, another thing you should look into these here, you can you can download them as PDF, and if you have Adobe, you can edit them. Just bring it up. Now you have seen and you have knew, found out that there was child pornography in one of the computers. Yes, I said that. Yeah. Uh, can you describe like what, what time frame or what kind of you know uh, what kind of footage or picture or video? Did you see? It was you with the little girl. That's all I can remember. What we, what what kind of interaction that did you see? Just what I just said. Did you out and yeah. out. So you're hundred percent sure you saw that? No, I didn't saw it. They told me about it. Who told you about it? My fiance. So your fiancé told you that what he saw? Yes. 